test here before I started the video, but uh, so I've already got a little bit of stripper on here. It doesn't work as good as uh, when I use my turbine sprayer, but I wanted to uh, real quick tell you guys, you do this at your own risk. Make sure you are completely covered up if you're going to try it. Um, I've been doing this stuff for 35 years. I work for a dork. I worked, uh, one of my jobs I did was as a contractor doing work for a door company and I was stripping and finishing doors so you know after you strip a couple of them you kind of start to you know you start expanding your mind like you should be doing if you're in, doing this stuff uh, for yourself or learning more and more as you go you always try and expand what your knowledge base is and try and learn a little bit more and um, Hopefully this YouTube stuff helps out some of you guys that are just starting out um, just to get information. Use your use this. Uh, I'm not going to tell you guys to do this, so uh, if you guys want to do it, try it. Here's what I do. This is the way that I do it sometimes when I am lazy. I don't feel like using a brush. Um, so you can't use Jasco or... Uh, you can't use Jasco or aircraft stripper with this. Do a test sample first of anything you want to try. Put some on your skin. See how bad it burns. Because if it burns once, then you know, oh my God, I don't want to do that. If it burns so bad. This stuff here um, is this crown strip. Um, I don't even know where I got this. I needed a paint stripper somewhere, and I think it was at like Ace Hardware or something like that. And uh, it's not really a very high, um, usually I use like clean strip one. I think it's pretty, not so harsh um, from Home Depot. So that's what I'm going to get because I'm almost out of this. Hopefully I have enough just to do this test sample for you guys. Um, but, uh, and like I said, I usually use a turbine and do this at your own risk. I usually use a turbine sprayer and I'll put the stripper it, it depends. You have to look at the stripper, like this one here. I'll show you when I pour it into this bottle. If you look at this stuff, it's super liquidy. It has almost no solids in it. Um, and that's the kind of stripper that you want for this process. Um, if you use like aircraft or something like that, it's too thick and, and it's super volatile. You'd be burning your eyes out. Um, you better have everything covered your whole body your eyes everything if you're gonna try that with this um, I, I usually cover up everything but um, uh, this is all gonna get painted and you notice that um, this didn't really stick very much the stuff I was doing the other day but I saw so many people interested in stripping uh, that are uh, so I realized and I watched some of the other videos and I'm like oh my god you know it's like does anybody really know how to strip with something you know I was uh, I thought it was pretty unbelievable. So I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways to do this on the side of this car because uh, that's actually the hardest part to do is the side. And the roof is easy because you can just pour the stuff on. But this super liquid stripper, this this crown or the or the clean strip stuff, is so liquidy that it wants to run right off. Where the, like the aircraft or Jasco, both of those are like almost the same. Okay, I've used both of them. I've used every kind of stripper you can imagine. I've, you know, when you're stripping doors every day, you start to try different things. And um, so, what I, I I tried both of those. They're about the same. Um, and then then I then I um, then I tried this stuff. Used to used to use this product called Bix, and it came in a spray bottle, a little you know pump spray bottle. And that stuff worked really good, but I don't know if it's still available. If it's available where you're at, try it. Uh, Bix spray strip, but they probably got sued because somebody got stripper on their hands or something. You know, that, that's the way it goes. So that stuff gets taken off the market. So here's the process um, I use to do the sides of the car where they're most, uh, uh, it's the hardest to get it to fling onto the side. Like I said, I'm not worried about my concrete. This is going to get painted with some uh, concrete paint here. So normally I would have this all covered up with drops or with um, with cardboard shields or plastic, one of the three. So let me show you this, how it works. 
you guys notice, I'll, I use my bare hands because I am so used to this stuff. It's not really the right way to do it. You should have um, gloves on and everything else, but I'm kind of a redneck when it comes to that. So um, this is my way, not what I'm telling you to do. I use, I'll use my, my, I use a uh, turbine sprayer usually because this only has a 1.5 tip and it's squirting out at me every time I do that. Put my finger over it and kind of hit a little bit of air and then that unclogs it. And just flood it on there. It's just so much faster than trying to, uh, it gets in the cracks and everything. You get a heavier coat of stripper on. But you have to have, you have to try, look at the stripper and make sure there's nothing around you that you're gonna want to worry about getting paint on or uh, getting the stripper on. So if I have the, the garage doors closed, uh, my truck pretty far away and it's getting painted so I'm not really worried about it. But um, so I just keep up my finger over it and yeah I'm getting stripper on my finger but this stuff's pretty mild and I'm going to wash my hands in a few minutes and uh, so I'm not really worried about it. I've done it so many times that it doesn't bother me. Um, you know I'm not you so like I said, you you know yourself. I'm not suggesting that you try this. You, I'm just showing you how I do it. This is why I can strip a whole car in about four hours, the most usually. I did a VW bus in about that much time, so it had house paint on it and stuff. And I, all I did try to get it down to the original coat, then I sand it from there. Now, what I do is put a coat on like that. Okay, then I'm going to let that set, start to bubble up a bit, and then I'll do that again. And I'll put a few coats like that on until it's just it's really starting to wrinkle really bad, and then I'll hose it down, just like I showed you in the other video. Let's see if this thing will pause that long. Uh, I don't have that much stripper. I'm going to try to do, I was going to do this whole side of the car, just to show you how quick it goes almost in real time I'm just pausing this video it only let me pause for about five minutes or so three minutes and then it shuts off so let's see how this goes okay just in case you're like uh, some people and you can't touch it with your here not like me and here's the other way you hold the bucket like this and just fling it and see how much it runs down you lose a lot doing this. You just fling it up there. So, I mean, it doesn't really save that much time to spray it on. I mean, it does save some. If you tip your bucket like this and you just kind of fling it on and then start up above and let it kind of run down and just get that stripper on there. I saw guys, you know, I was watching videos this morning and I went, oh my God, there's nobody showing this and, and there's so much interest I saw 80 some odd hits this morning on a video I did yesterday so I just thought you know what these guys need some help with this because it's it's really not that hard and guys are taking way too long and this is the cheap stripper okay if you get the really hot stuff you know the Jasco you're going to have to have everything, your body completely covered up, but you should anyway with this. But um, you just, so it doesn't really save that much time to put it on with the sprayer. I'm just showing you some different ways so that you can kind of expand your mind, figure out what's going to work best for you. And then, uh, you know, you take your own risk. If you want to do it that way, go for it. You know, that's up to you. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm telling you how I do it. So, here you go. So, I'll run around everything, and I'll just hit it with this. See, so that didn't take me really much longer, if you notice, than spraying it on. I'm just showing you guys different ways. I've done it. When you have a 
2.5 tip, which that's only got a 1.5. Of course, everybody goes, oh my God, you're using your brand new spray gun. It's only a few months old. It cleans, that's what I use to clean it. <laughs> when it gets really bad, you use paint stripper and clean that gun. That works great. That's what we used to use back in the old days. They didn't even have some of the stuff to clean them with. Back, of, back in the old days, we had good lacquer thinner. Now they have this junk now. It's just all acetone. It dries too fast. So you need to use something other than that to clean your gun. Every once in a while, it gets caked up. So that gun will be clean. So I've done half the quarter panel as well over here uh, with spray. And uh, I'm going to run out of product probably before I get this all done. Let's set this set for a little while. And for your information... This is not just one or two paint jobs, okay? There's a, I've seen a couple guys, and they were taking off like two paint jobs, and it took them, you know, 10 minutes. Or so. Come on. This has got like 10 coats on it. Easy. It's the super thick. I mean, it's like 10 mils of paint, so that's 10 paint jobs. Uh, it, it's really, really bad, and it's super cold out right now. It's like maybe... 50 degrees max you know um so it, it's not going to react very quickly let's see if this does this in a little bit faster all right so i'm just going to keep throwing some more on here i'm not going to use the sprayer anymore it's uh it's just down to the point where there's some junk in it so it's no big deal it doesn't take any longer you just don't don't wipe your brush you just throw it on there Throw it on there. That's it. That's all you do. Throw it on there. Throw it on there. Pick up your runs a little bit. Now this stuff is, like I said, this is really, really thin stuff. It's almost real watery, but it works good for spraying it on. It, it And it doesn't react near as fast as some of the Jasco and um, aircraft. I, I found that they also dry quicker than this stuff does, so... It gives you a little less time to play with it that I don't like. Unless it's real cold out, then maybe you're better off using it. I don't know. That's all. I'll leave that up to you. Give it a shot. I'm going to just do this with them. Um, I'm cheap. I'll use the cheap stuff, and I'll get it to work just fine. People say, oh, that's a lot more work. I mean, I remember when we were stripping doors at the old Mission Inn. And uh, and they were he was like oh no let's use the Jasco and I don't know I didn't like it that one it wasn't any better than the other it just took just gave you a quicker reaction first time you put it on and then it seemed to you know eventually take it off but it's super cold out like I said it's it's not even fifty degrees maybe fifty degrees. And uh, it's not taking this material off very quickly, which in a warmer part of the day, um, it would be taking this off super fast, um, a lot faster than this. Not really super fast, like one of those others. Uh, let me check this with the... All right, so they're looking at maybe 10 minutes out here. I'm going to check it out here and see how it's coming off. See how many different layers of paint there is on there? There's yellow, there's white, there's, I don't know, primer. I mean, this is a lot of coats of paint, okay? What happens a lot of times is right here, you can see it bubbled the first coat off and the stripper in that's still wet. So, um, I'm probably just gonna run through and scrape this off and the stripper's still wet, but it's stuck in this coat. Okay, so it hasn't, it won't get into this coat because it's, it's, it's bubbled off into the first coat. So, you know, you can make a management decision here. What I usually do is I'll uh, just do this, and then because you're only going to get so many coats off with the guys, you show guys. So, oh yeah, look, you can strip it all the way to bare metal. One shot. No, nah, that's a bunch of garbage. It doesn't work like that, guys. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't strip that easy. You won't go all the way to bare metal if you have 10 coats of paint. It's just not going to happen. So, 
I just did this to save myself some face here. Got myself a piece of cardboard. Catch some of my mess. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do like I showed you guys in the other video. I'm going to neutralize it. The key thing is, see if I just went stripper right over this area, hopefully you can see my hand. Let me look. Yeah, it looks like you can. Right over this area. That's pretty well sealed. It's uh, It didn't, it didn't open it up very much when they, before they painted it, so it's not uh, sanded very well. And that's probably why the paint was wrinkling really bad on the top finish um, finish coat. And uh, if I just put strip oil over that, it's not going to do that much. But if I take that wire brush technique that I was showing you guys, and I just go ahead and go over it. Um, there's another guy who said something that was interesting. And, and this does work, guys, if you want to try this. And I've done it before. But I found that this, what the method I use is just as quick. Um, they say to keep this, they have a couple of materials out there that are paste, okay? And what they do is they say to put that on there. I want to do a demo for that just so you can see what that does. And then put, while it's wet, put plastic over it. Some guys do that. Um, and, yeah, you know, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't seem to be really any faster. The mo most important thing is, to me, is when you, if you're doing wood, then that's a different story. Do it this way because you can't uh, do the aggressive wire wheel stuff to wood. So they actually have a, a paste that you can buy that you put on wood and it can strip that off um, a lot faster by putting plastic over it because what this does is keeps the, the, the area wet for a longer period of time and then you can pull off more layers. But if you're doing a car, it, it's, you know, you hit it once with that wire wheel and it opens everything up again. Then you hit it one more time and that's that, that paint's coming off. You're at bare metal right then. You know, it doesn't take long. So the guys that are saying that this works on a car, I mean, that seems like kind of pointless to me. It does work. Okay. It will keep the stripper wet for a longer period of time uh, and it will strip off probably some more layers but you're going to have points where it where it's like this area where it lifts the stuff on the surface off and then the stuff that's underneath it isn't getting stripper on it because it's stuck in that first layer so i found the best way at this point when it's right here is just to hose it off use the wire wheel i'll do a demo of that real quick too in this same video as so I'm gonna try and get it all in here before my memory runs out. So you just hose it down. This neutralizes the acid in the stripper. I don't know about Jasco and and uh, but this one here I've looked on the label. It should always read your labels. It says on it that it's water soluble. So if it's water soluble, this will neutralize it so that you're not going to get too much of a hazard trying to take those swing this stuff off with a wire wheel. Now I'll just take a rag real quick and dry the surface off. Notice a lot of stuff came off that was underneath. You got to get some of those layers off so that the stripper can get to this part right here. The next layer. You have to do it. I, I Putting plastic on there, you know, might help a little bit, but not, not as, it's just, just not as fast as doing this. I've already got this off. We've been out here. I'm taking a lot longer because I'm using the video. I mean, I'll get really aggressive with it. 
when I'm by myself and I'm not doing a video. All right then, I don't normally use this little grinder. I usually use my polisher because it's slower speed. I really don't like to use this because man, I got right now, I got paint chips everywhere. But I'll just, they don't stick to the ground really because I've neutralized them with water. So, but I'm not gonna tell you to do that. If you're at your parents' house or you got a, you're doing your old car at your house and it sticks to your driveway, don't call me. Cover up everything. Cover it all up. I'm in an area, this is my shop area at my house, and uh, I really don't care. If it gets on the ground, I'll clean it up with a power washer and it'll be fine. I don't care. So if you do, cover everything up. <laughs> guys get the idea how quickly that takes it down now what that's done is that's etched into these coats there's no shine on here anymore so it's etched into those coats so that when I put the next coat of stripper on I'll have bare metal pretty much it should take everything else off you can usually get two or three layers off with each coat of uh, stripper like I said this car's got you get ten coats on it so, and they're super thick. I mean, it's a, it's about a sixteenth of an inch thick paint on this car. So, um, but that's how quickly is it. People go, oh, it takes a lot more time. It, it really doesn't take much more time. And then you just proceed. I don't know if I have any more stripper left. I think I just got just enough just to do a little sample area. And that's it. I'm out. So, I'll run the store. I'll get some more stripper, I'll finish up this panel, and just trust me, it'll be done in very little time. I'm just taking a lot of time right now to talk to you guys and show you how that I do it. I'm not saying this is how you should do it. You make up your mind. You take the risk. And if you want to try it, um, go for it. Uh, I do this all the time. And I, because I've been doing this for years, you know, I don't have anything on my hands and it's it doesn't even bother me if i get a little bit on there it doesn't burn much because it's that you know i got their stripper right there on my hands but it doesn't bother me really because i've done it so many, so much it's not good for me but i've done it so long that it just uh, doesn't even uh bother me but you all you all should have everything covered up have stuff on your hands it's recommended on the read the can whatever the safety thing is on the can stick to that i'm not telling you to do anything else i'm telling you what i do this is what I do. So, anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep on going with this and strip this car. I'm not gonna do this whole car right now. I, I didn't even plan on doing this, but I saw the interest that you guys had in stripping cars, and I saw how bad the videos are. And it's not like I was like, you know, guys taking off two layers of paint and he's using aircraft. Well, big deal. That's nothing. Try and take off 10, 15 layers on a VW. I know you guys are dealing with that, so um, it, that's the way to do it. That's the way I do it, right here. I just get it off quick, take it all off. All right, we'll see you on the next video. I, I won't be able to strip this whole panel. I, it, one more coat, it'll be raw. It'll be bare metal. Then I'll do a little bit of sanding. Uh, in fact, let me show you that real quick. What I do is I feather sand with my polisher and 60 grit. Uh, just watch your corners, edges, and, and your lines. If you're doing any other car, 
Uh, on these things, it doesn't matter that much because everything's kind of round. And I'm going to put a heavy coat of primer on it. But this doesn't do too much damage with the 60 grit. Um, and then I'll take the, the marks out from that with the DA. And then, you know, you can be completely raw metal or you can just go down like I am. Just going to, if I see this paint here, I know that's original paint. I'm not going to take it all off. And it's, I can see that it's not lacquer checked. If it was a GM car, I had to take it all off. Nothing left because all those lacquer checked though. But this one here, I don't see much with lacquer checking going on, which is that little bit of crazing, the uh, cracks in it. Uh, if it has that in the bottom coat, you got it's all got to come off 100%. So, but I don't see a problem with it on this one. So uh, I'm just going to go down to the firm coat and then uh, go ahead and sand it and feather sand that in and put a lot of primer on here to build it out and go from there. All right, so that's paint stripping the way I do it. I'll talk to you later.